Rory Lewis is a, a British photographer known for photographic portraits. Uh, his approach draws inspiration from the works of artist Hans Holbein the Younger and the German Expressionist movement of the 1920s. For this project, Soldiery British Army Portraits, Rory has photographed over 278 uh, British soldiers. My favourite portrait is the one behind you of Captain Anani Erzak um, of the Royal Lancers. I think it is very striking and, and very beautiful. It's a really strong image of somebody that comes across really well and somebody that comes across as a strong person. Julian Anani Isaac. It's a great exhibition to be part of, you know, trying to show what the British Army looks like in 2017. It's not the same army that we had even 10 years ago. Um, and I think it's important to show that we now do look like Britain does. I think it's an amazing opportunity for the public to see all the diversity that exists within the British Army. Um, so many different types of regiments, people, um, and all of their different uniforms. It's all of our unique traditions all of our stories. I mean, you look at any of these um, portraits and you'll see cat badges that mean something for the last 250 years. And my favourite one here is of the um, drum of steel. Um, I think it's a lovely photograph as it shows all the intricates of his uniform um, and how proud he is to be a, uh, a drummer. Firstly, I think they're all great. I mean, Rory is an amazing photographer. But uh, from a personal perspective, the one just to my, my right shoulder, General, uh, General Bruce, is the one that I particularly like the most, partly because I was working for him at the time it was taken. So I helped carry his absurdly heavy uh, Scottish Regiment uniform over to, or Reg War Regiment Scotland uniform, um, over to get the photographs done. The portrait of the King's Royal Hussars with an officer and two warrant officers, because I like the juxtaposition of the images. It's a very cleverly constructed uh, multiple photograph. People are used to seeing um, exhibitions of very old portraits of uh, very prominent military personnel, but I think seeing pictures from private soldier all the way up to lieutenant general, they're going to see the actual spectrum of people and the diversity now that we have as a 21st century army. I, I always find that people are hugely supportive of the British Army, you know, and you know, here is a, an illustration of that professionalism, that diversity. Uh, and, you know, as Rory said, he hasn't enjoyed doing an exhibition like this so much because people were fun to work with. I see in these photographs, uh, and I hope you agree, that there is a sort of innocent eagerness uh, in the eyes of the younger soldiers who uh, you know, have a thirst for adventure, perhaps a thirst uh, for combat. You know, while the experienced soldier is more circumspect and measured, knowing how fragile is uh, the gift of life, yet I'm sure absolutely confident of their ability to uh, stay the fight. Uh, and as Rory mentioned, I do think these photographs show that you know, we are the most inclusive of organisations. You know, regardless of gender, race, religion or sexuality, all are truly uh, welcome. You know, any individual can excel in the British Army, uh, and many do. You know, I think Rory sits in this number uh, as a sort of you know, a true Jedi Knight uh, armed with a camera as opposed to a uh, lightsaber. Uh, and as a leading British photographer, we should be really proud uh, of the work he's done here to capture this exhibition, this historical record of the men and women uh, of the 21st century uh, British Army. And I do think he deserves our, our praise, our gratitude, and of course our applause. I, I think that the, the variety of the photographs and the standard of them, I think, is going to be well received. Uh, the Army needs good PR at the moment, and I think the variety of photographs, the fact we've got women in, in the gallery photographs as well, at, with the Women's 100, I think it's perfect, and I think it's going to be well received by the public. What I think it shows is a diversity not only in activities, you've got people in battle dress, you've got people in ceremony and uniform, but also the diversity of people in terms of age ranges, male, females. So I think this promotes a very modern army and will help to actually portray that image that this is a place that everybody is welcome to join. These are the guys and girls that protect this country and you know, the, the public I think now are a lot more conscious of the army than they were 10 years ago. Uh, I've been here with my son uh, a few months ago when it opened and it, you know, it's quite something to see, see the portrait that was done quite quickly actually on the day itself. 
uh, between meetings. It's, it's wonderful to sit here. It's quite a surprise, actually. The honour to have the portrait actually here um, amongst an absolute plethora of professional people for the first time in absolutely hundreds and hundreds of years. So, yes, very honoured. Well, I think what was so interesting was to discover that no one has done this for a long, long time, you know, to this level of professionalism. And, and I hope that, that you know, they're not stored away in a cupboard. I hope that people use them you know, to really get a better understanding of, of, of the army. And yes, you know, National Portrait Gallery and Imperial War Museum, who knows? Uh, but I think people will learn to love them.